Hello everyone, and today, we're back for another Lubian Legacy Showcase video, and we're going to be re-showcasing Land Torch, but we're going to be running a tech Land Torch set. We're running a very nimble specialty boot set, and this Land Torch is also secret ability, which is send off. When you are knocked out, you leave behind a gift which heals an ally by 25% of its HP. The moves I have on this Land Torch is Flash and Flee and Fade Away, the two pivot moves, Final Ruse, since I outspeed almost everything with very nimble boots, I can use Final Ruse and KO, a very bad matchup, and my fourth move is Fire Breath so I can hit Lachette, but you could also replace this with Tribute if you really want. The TPs I have on this Land Torch, 200 and the speed, puts me at 256 energy, not energy, 256 speed with very nimble, which actually outspeeds very smart boot Zulong. I got 32 in the energy to put us at 240, which is enough for 4 moves and a final ruse, and the rest is into the attack stats. The team I have around this send-off Land Torch is Iamorfizu, Colossotrops, Novadius, Vesperatu, Cleone, and Hember. And yeah, this may be a very interesting Land Torch set, but I had some inspiration from the set because Wuffy Roblox made a Land Tot set that pretty much did the same thing. And he actually beat Trep and Shed with a Land Tot. I will leave the link to both of their YouTubers' channels in the description below. But that's my inspiration to making this Land Torch. Because the thing is, I wanted to use Land Tot, but there's one flaw with Land Tot. It doesn't learn Flash and Flay. But I feel like with Flash and Flea in Fade Away and Final Ruse... I think this Land Torch set could work very well. So yeah, thanks for Puffy Roblox for making the Land Tot set that gave me inspiration to making this Land Torch set. But out of the way, let's head right into the battles. Alright, we're into battle number one with very nimble specialty boots Land Torch. And okay, we have some potential here. Fire Breath for you. I can flash and flee out of the Erupt the Dawn. I outspeed everything. This could potentially be Light Dash. But not the end of the world. I can fade away. Fade away is free. That's if I can also predict the fade away. And also, this is Fog. Although, would it really be Fog? Because none of the Lumians really support its team. So, I'll bring you for that. And for kind of this as well. I'll bring more fees to outspeed you. Uh, I want to bring more support for that thing. So, yeah, I'll bring you. I gotta bring something for the Tyronics. There's only one thing that doesn't make this thing sweep me, and it is this. But even then, this thing could sweep me, if not careful. So, we're gonna lead off with the Land Torch. And we'll see what we have as a lead. We have Helvantic lead. I outspeed because I'm very, 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 very nimble boots Land Torch. So, I 100% outspeed. Would he go Tyronics on this? Would he go Faneki or Tyronics? Uh, I probably should have clicked Flash and Flay. The reason why is because Maneki has no threat. Oh, never mind. He did go Maneki. So, fade away. All right. Fade away. All right. We'll go into the uh, Morphizu. And Morphizu gets a free attack here. Maneki can't really do anything. I get a free Jet Stream, no matter what. And he just stayed in a Nature's Force. Bruh. He just stayed in a nature's force. I could have just set up a Gus. It sucks because I'm now injured for the Tyronics. But that's okay. It's not the end of the world. It is the end of the world. This is indeed the very end of the world. Oh, he swapped. I get a Metal Blast on something. Metal Blast on Helvantic doesn't help that much. But hey. Mindset's there. Got a critical hit. I'm gonna go into my... I get, at least I get a little HP back. I'm going to go into my Himber. Now, the Paneki being alive is unfortunate, but I do have Land Torch. So, I can still always just use that. It does get the Predict with Primal. I can go for an Icicle Traps here. Does he go back Paneki? He doesn't, and he goes Wintrix. Thankfully, I can Ice Hammer ya. I can Ice Hammer the Wintrix, which is good. I can Ice Hammer ya. I don't really care if you set up a peace of mind. As weird as it sounds, I don't really care about peace of mind that much. And if you set up too much, I can final ruse. Thing is, I don't want to lose two Lumians, just the final ruse or Wintrix. Yeah, look at that damage. Yeah. It's 
dead. No, uh, eh, uh, I uh, will ice hammer again. Okay, just frost beam. I should have quick punched. Although quick punch would not have been enough, though. At least I get my milkshake proccing, but now my hammer's low for the Helvantic. At least we don't have Wintrix destroy us, so that's good. And honestly, Land Torch looks very dangerous in this battle, if I can get it on the field. Which I have Cleone for. He does get rid of a layer of Icicle Traps, but again, it's not the end of the world. I could stop the Soul Burster up the Dawn for a turn, which is good. I could stop it for at least a turn, and then I could pivot into either my Morphizu or my Land Torch. One of two options works. So, going to you. I still don't know if you have Tyronics. Tyronics is scary, but I do have Morphizu who is okay against it. It's not amazing, because it is still weak to Frostbeam, but it's okay against it, because after a piece of mine, I should be able to break through Tyranix. So yep, as expected, it is Soul Burst or Dawn. Did its Soul Move get changed in this update? I know that Soul Burst Crack Lola has Heat Wave. Okay, yeah, okay. Okay, Mr. Erupt Dawn, you can chill. You can chill. He went for a Hellstorm right away, actually. Oh, uh, Hellstorm's still up. Dang it. Hellstorm is still up. Well, Morphizu? You're gonna have to Oko this thing, bud. You're gonna have to Oko this thing, buddy. You're gonna have to Oko this thing. Yeah, get on out of here, bud. Get on out of here. Yeah, get out of here. I'm nimble for a reason. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you right now. <laughs> Most certainly don't want to deal with you right now. Unfortunately, my Morphizu's a little bit injured, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, what will we do next? Helvantic? Oh, there's the Tyronics. This is the thing that scares me, but it's fog. Okay, we're fine. So we're fine because it is fog, and I can also Middle Blast it, which is good. I don't think it Elkos, though, because it's not stabbed. Wow, it really did not Elko. That is, hold on, that is, what the heck? Heavy range defensive Tyronics, ladies and gentlemen. That is a range defensive Tyronics that is OP. Oh, and yeah, okay, yeah, I have to hit it with Metal Blast because I lose my ability. So I do have to hit it with a Metal Blast, actually. Which is a little unfortunate, but it's kind of how it is. That's a lot of damage. It goes for a Frost Beam. That should KO me. Yeah, after a peace of mind. Yeah, after a peace of mind. Now I can go into Land Torch. Who, uh, yep, the Hellstorm's now gone. I can go into Land Torch. And I can flash and flee out of this matchup. That's if it is enough to KO this, which it might not. I don't have that much investment in my ranged attack. It's enough. You'll love to see it. I can go back into Cleone for free. To force the Helvantic to come in. And again, I don't really care about Helvantic that much. Because the Eruptodon's already dead. It's, I think it's just Helvantic and one more. I feel like it's just Helvantic and one more. Just something we could definitely utilize. I'm going to go into Himber. Himber's back in. It did get gnarly. Ow. That's not very gnarly. I'll go for an Earthquake. Because I could live that, I think. I think I could live another... Oh, yes, I can. I most certainly can. And what's your last Lumion? Oh, your last Lumion's Benecki. We won. We won, because Benecki's alive, and we have Icicle Traps still up. So, yeah, we're fine. We're going to win. We win this. Hey! There goes the Benecki. And it's out of there. Let's head into battle number two. Battle number two of my send-off Land Torch. And I didn't really get to use it the way I wanted to in the first battle, but... We are going to most certainly use it in this one. Because there's a Deludrix. There is an Akalos. There is a Jalusa. I'm going to have to sack this against one of these fellas. Just not sure which one yet. Bring you. So I, I'm not completely dead to all these Lumians. Even though this thing is still kind of a nightmare. Ah, uh, you outspeed. <laughs> oh, yeah, you. You're a thing. So, yeah, Jalusa owns. Oh. That's a little iffy. Bring you, because you're pretty good. Flash and Flea is at least free. Fade Away isn't because of Jalusa, but Flash and Flea is at least free. 
where Fizu also isn't terrible because he could set up a peace of mind and eventually, I think, do a lot of work against it. And I outspeed Levatross, so this is good actually. It's actually very good for me. He's gonna lead off the Ludrix to set up Rain. No, he leads off Aquos to set up a Brawn Boost. <laughs> uh, yeah! Uh, that's not good! Uh oh! Uh, uh oh, guys! Guys, we might be in trouble! Let's see. Okay, I just play Psychicle Traps. It, that's actually okay, honestly. It could legit be worst, honestly. It could legit be worst. I'm gonna... I think I'm... Do I outburst, or do I just bulk up? I'm gonna bulk up. Oh, you driving's force? I knew I should've just attacked you. Well, that sucks. Now he knows that I'm frail armor, too. Oh no, please go Land Torch. Oh, Vesperatu isn't the worst, and I could actually slap down its item, and he can't force me out. So he's a defensive Aquilos. I don't think I've seen a defensive Aquilos yet, so this is actually kind of cool to see. Fortunately, I don't have any health recovery on this thing, so... Slap down is free. So I'm going to use that to my advantage. I want to get rid of the Icicle Traps, though, at some point. Thankfully, that's a free... That's a free slap down, at least, but it's not going to do that much damage. Oh! Oh! Okay! Okay! That's a lot of damage. I'll go Cleone. If I can get my... I, I, what I need to do is dissipate my Land Torch on the field. I gotta dissipate it on. There's a zip set. I love that well. It can't go Aklos. It can't go... I mean, it could go Aklos. But it goes Leva. Leva Tross is okay, because I can actually stratagem it. Because if it Mega Chomps, Cleone is a thing. Okay, I just click Bulk Up turn one, which, you know what, is okay. That's okay. Cleone is good. Cleone is really good. We can go for a Dissipate this turn and try to limit the damage on Leva. We're gonna try to limit the damage on Lave. Oh my god, that's amazing. That is amazing. That's gonna do nothing. Cause of Repugnant, baby! Repugnant is OP! That's where having Phantom Slash would have been good. Well, we're gonna go into you. Into the Land Torch. Land Torch is now in. I get rid of a layer of Icicle Traps. I outspeed the Lavatross. Lavatross is also poison. And Flash and Flay is free. So. Flash and Flea! Very nimble boots! Land Torch coming in clutch. We're gonna go into the... I think I'm gonna go... Uh... I'll go... Uh... I don't know. I'll go Vesp to force the Ludrix. I wanna force the Deludrix back in. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it stopped raining. I thought I had one more rain turn left. But I didn't. So yeah, the Ludrix does come back in and sets up Raid. <laughs> yeah, it literally comes back in and sets up Raid again. Although, is a Shadow Sprint enough to KO the thing? I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try it. It might be enough. Hey, it's gone. Yep, I was fine the whole time the Shadow Sprint did. But unfortunately, the Rain is up for the Akalos. So, Akalos's Reign of Terror is very dangerous. Also, Phage Knot's Reign of Terror is also very dangerous, too. I mean, I don't want to lose this to this, though. But unfortunately, I don't really have a swap bin, so I feel like Slapdown is the best play. I outspeed you because I am nimble. So, that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just going to slap down you, get rid of your item. I lose my Vesperatu, but I don't think it's the end of the world. Because I think I know what set your other Lumion is. Oh, you provoke! I get to save my vest for later. I get to save my vest for later, then. I feel like sacking Cleone is the best thing I can do. I don't know. I feel like sacking Cleone is the best thing to do here. 
I think that is the best play to do here. Goes for Flash and Flay. What's your last Lumion? Lavatross is dead. Is your last one Jalusa? Is your last one the Jalusa? We'll see. It goes back at Colossus. I can go for a... I can go for a Stratagem on this to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, this Aklos is going to be very hard to break. Okay, yeah, this Aklos... Okay, so we now know that it is Brawn Boost. And that did no damage. Crud, it does no damage. Oh, uh, that's a little unfortunate that it did no damage. I'll dissipate in case he Brawn Boost again. Okay, he's driving four, so... Uh, that's kind of rough, actually. Land Torch! Ah, oh, out of everything, did it have to be that? Did it have to be that thing that it swaps into? Gosh dang it! Why did it have to be the Morphizu? I mean, I guess I could just, you know, do mega damage to it, but it doesn't do that much. I gotta sack Cleone. Cleo Sacking Cleone, I think, is the best thing to do. I hope my driving force luck is good. Yep, there's an Aqua Jaws. Oh, wait! Yes, yes, yes! Oh, it's amazing! Because you're poisoned! Oh my god! That's why you don't run Aqua Jaws, baby! Aqua Jaws sucks, ladies and gentlemen! Aqua Jaws stinks! It stinks! It stinks! And I might be able to get a Rejuvenate off, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the Rejuvenate. Oh, uh, oh, that would have been awesome if I lived that. But the Aqualos is now poisoned. Slapdown's free, but I feel like it's better to go Land Torch to get rid of the Icicle Traps. So that'll be what I do. I, I, I'll get rid of the Icicle Traps because I think getting rid of them is very important. Because I can now go for the Flash and Flay. Fire Breath does actually do the most damage. He rested though, which is perfectly fine. Because his health amulet is kaput now. And that did no damage because you're defensive. But it's kind of how it is. It's going to be very close. I don't think he actually has. I don't think this Aklos has. What is that move called? I don't think this Aklos has. Ice Hammer. Which is going to help me out, I think. Oh, I just KO it all the way. So yeah, it was a ranged defensive Aklos all along. So it was ranged defensive. Phage Knot's gonna come back in. I don't really have a swap in for Phage Knot, though. I guess I could go Colossotrops. Colossotrops is kind of free here. I just don't know what your last thing is. What is your last Lumion? Get through Flash and Flee. Like, what's your last Lumion? Kinda don't know. That's where Provoke, so I, I can't set up. I just don't know what your last one is. Is your last one the. Jalusa? Is your last one Jalusa? That's the thing I don't know yet. I don't know if your last one's Jalusa or not. He is clicking Rejuvenate, but he's gonna run out of moves, so just clicking Earthquake's the best play to do. Boom! And we just click it again. And we're good. I don't want a Temper Crash, because that's playing it way too risky. So yeah. Say goodbye to the phage. Is his last one Jalusa? If his last one is Jalusa, I'm just gonna chip it. Or do I just go more Fizu and play it safe? I have an attack on Klossa to stop Bluster. Okay, this is his last one. His last one is Cosmure. Cosmic Pressure is gone. I could go for an Outburst to do some damage. I can go for an outburst to do some damage, but it ain't gonna do that much. Uh, 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 hold on, guys. It's not over yet. <laughs> it's not over yet, guys. <laughs> Alarm bells, ladies and gentlemen. Alarm bells. It's not over yet. And there is a bulk up. There is indeed a bulk up. And here is a potential Cosmire sweep. Oh boy! Okay, he just bulked up again. We might be okay. Because if he slumbers... He has to KO me this turn. 
or slumber, one of the two. I'll bulk up. Okay, you attack me. And it KOs me. And guess who comes in, guys? Guess who comes on in? The torch is back. Torch comes back in. And it's over. Again, I didn't have I didn't use send off a single time yet. Again, you always like to keep your boots limians alive, but still, I didn't even get to use this thing yet. But yeah, that's another KO. Let's head into battle number three. Alright, we're into battle number three with send off specialty boots land torch. And this battle's very, very interesting. There's a Cosmelon, there's a Joltoop, which that's going to be a nightmare because something I have learned is that Nimble Boots, well, Nimble after one Drudge, Joltoop does outspeed this Land Torch, but Brawny plus one Solber Strudge doesn't. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to lead off with you because you do look good. I'll bring you to Gus something. I'll bring you to get rid of... He has a Snagolt, which is very interesting. There's also one of these fellas. What are those things called? Festifers. Yeah, he has a Festifer. Festifer is pretty dangerous. I don't see anything with Bane of Haze. Cosmelon's going to be very interesting because I haven't battled many of them. It's definitely going to be under the electric weather. There's no ands, ifs, or buts about it. I'll bring you. And out of these three, which one should be the last one? I'll bring Vest because I can slap down items. And that will be what I do. You lead off with... Plasmoth! I just showcased this fella, and this thing is pretty good. It can set up thunderstorms, and it can be very good at setting up for his teammates. So, I'm gonna go for the fadeaway here, because that actually is gonna do more damage, because Plasmoth has no melee defense, but it has really good range defense. So, fadeaways to play here. So, boom! I'm gonna go into my Timber. It's probably going to flash and flee, I assume, to pivot into Joltoop. I kind of have Timber for Joltoop. That's kind of the reason why I have it. Dang it. Although, flash and flee at least did not do that much. But he's going to go into... No, he goes into Cosmelon, actually. Now, the thing is with Cosmelon is that I know what this Cosmelon set is. I know what it's going to be. It's the electric set with... Hydro Blast. That's what it's going to be. But I'm going to stay in it and just attack it anyway. As expected. Yep. And I lived. I lived the attack. Oh, come on. Oh, no way. Oh, okay. At least I won't die on this hit, but come on. Oh, thank gosh. Okay. Thank goodness. I get the attack off. And that's a lot of damage. Thunderstorm Rage is on. Does he not miss under Thunderstorm? Because if that's the case, that's very scary. I'll go into Vesperatu then. I'll go to Vesperatu because I don't want to risk the Quick Punch. I don't want to risk the Quick Punch. Hydro Blast. There's a miss. <laughs> yeah, Hydro Blast is 80%, ladies and gentlemen. It is indeed 80%. I'm going to Shadow Spread to actually get rid of this thing. Because, yeah, Cosmelon is scary, and he knew. So he went Snagolt. Ooh. Okay. I mean, I could just kind of break through this thing, I think. I could just Haro it. Haro's the best play, because I don't have Dark Essence. I have Spirit Essence, so... Just do some damage to it. Gets a Poison up, but the Poison's not really the end of the world. Thunderstorm has ended. We can go for another Haro. Haro is basically free. That should get rid of the Snagulp, actually. Because Snagulp is way too low. He kind of has to swap out. He has to sack a Lumion. And he sacks Snagulp. Gets a poison, but the snag ulp is out of the picture. It's gonna be that Joltoof that's gonna be the big threat, ladies and gentlemen. That Joltoof is the threat. That's the Lumium we're gonna have to watch out for. That's the Lumium we gotta watch out for. There's Plasmoth again. I can swap into my Ugh I I wanna go Land Torch big time. I might be making a mistake if I do that, because I have no bolt. Yeah, I, I probably die in... The Plasmoff does not have the highest attack stat, though, either. I kind of don't know. This thing is really good against my team. Especially if he clicks Slash and Flay. Morfizu's weak, although Morfizu could probably live one hit. Do I just lose the Himber here? Yeah, I think I'll just lose the Himber. I don't... 
Uh, it sucks because he has a Joltu still. But I feel like there are other ways to use this. There are other ways to beat that Joltu, I think. And that's just something I'm gonna have to utilize. It's kind of scary. It's indeed kind of scary. He goes into Dakuda, which is basically a free quick punch. It's a free quick punch. That's a free quick punch if I ever saw one. And honestly, this might be the time to sack. This could be the time to throw out a sack here. The biggest thing I'm scared of is Joel 2. I don't have anything for Joel 2 if he has it. And that's what kind of scares me. Joel 2 is the thing that scares me. It's very scary indeed. Oh, actually, no! We're good! We're good! We're good! He soul bursted! We're good! We're good! We're good! I know what we could do! We could sack... I don't know. Does he stay in on the Kuda? Or does he just attack? He trusts his gut that he lives the hit. So I go! For the final ruse, send off! I don't know who I'll send off to, but final ruse, send off, ladies and gentlemen! We are going to use the set bait. B -E. Oh. Well, you now know my tech now. And honestly, I'm glad you didn't KO me. Because, yeah, that's a thing. Festifer's most certainly a thing, ladies and gentlemen. Festifer's most certainly a thing that we gotta worry about. So, yeah, there's an earthquake. I can go for a slap down for free here. I mean, Slapdown's basically free here. There's no reason why not to click it. Or do I just click Haro? I will click Haro. Because if you go back into the other thing... Yeah, you went back into... Okay, you just sacked the Cosmillion. Which, that's fine, actually. This thing out of the picture, that thing can't beat me anymore. So that's good. He now knows that I'm Final Rose. But that Dakota is a little scary. I might have to save Esperatu. Just specifically for that. Which is a little concerning. That is a little concerning, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. There's a Thunder Summon uh, again. Yeah, Plasmoth doing a lot of work for his team. This is going to be a touch-and-go battle. This is going to be a battle that's going to go either way, it feels like. It's going to depend on who makes the better move. Refuse does outspeed. Refuse could win. So I'm okay going Land Torch here. I'm okay going Land Torch here. Even if he Thunder Strikes, I'm okay going Land Torch here. Okay, yep, he flashed. Awesome. He flashed and fleed. Which did absolutely nothing. Because, yeah, Plasma Off doesn't hit the hardest. So this is good. So does he go Festifer or does he go into the other thing? That's going to be the question. Which Lumion does he go into out of the two? Because my play is obvious. My play is to fade away. Because I want to play it safe. I fade away because I play it safe around here. I don't take any risks. And he's really thinking of a decision. It's going to depend on the play, honestly. Let's see what you do. And what's my last one? I think my last one's Nova. So yeah, I'm fine at anyway. I think I could sack Vesp and be fine. So yeah, let's see what you do. He's really thinking of a move. He's really thinking. I mean, he's kind of out of options. He's out of options. He's going to have to make a predict to beat me. And his Plasmoth is almost out of energy. So his Plasmoth can't really do anything for the rest of the battle again. Primal Slash on Nova's free if I brought it. If I did bring Nova, I'm not sure. He goes to Kuda. But yeah, it's, yeah, I expected it. And yeah, yeah, Nova's my last one. So I fade away here to predict the Festive for coming in. And then I get a free Slapdown. Or free Haro, one of the two. So if he stays in, I sack Vest. If he goes Festive I go Vesp and get a free KO. Okay, I could have final ruse, but okay. We we made our play though. Uh yeah, we'll just sack Vesp. 
little unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. He clicks Tsunami. He still has his delete button. Which is a little concerning. Yeah, it's a little concerning. We just gotta go Marfizu and just do a lot of damage to you. We just gotta do a lot of damage to you. Oh, I don't do a lot of damage to you is the problem. Oh, no. Uh, guys? Code Red. Code Red. This battle's gotten very interesting all of a sudden, guys. This battle has all of a sudden gotten very, 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 very interesting. Ouch! This battle's gotten very interesting. If my... If my Nova can't defeat his last three, it's over. I click Nova. Okay, okay, it's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. We're good, we're good, we're good. This should KO from this range, I hope. Come on. Yes, okay. We're fine. Nova can win it. Nova Diaz can do the thing. Nova Diaz can do the thing. He goes back in the plasma off to try to stall a turn. I can just go for a Primal Slash here for free. He's also going to be out of Thunderstorm turns. I actually outspeed the Plasma. Yep, it is definitely pretty defensive. Power Surge. Oh, it's going for the Par... Oh, God. Paralyze. Uh-oh. I'm going to dip, actually. Because I have an idea here. I'm going to dip. I, I could have been fine anyway, though, because I have Fire Breath. Oh. 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 Oh, no. Why Tricky Tactics? Well, at least I got to showcase Send Off. But I'm screwed now. <laughs> oh, no. I'm screwed now. Okay. Code Red. It's all down to me not getting paralyzed. Oh, no. Why did it tricky that turn? No. Well, I got to showcase send off in like the worst way possible, potentially losing the battle. Okay, I got my boiling off. Whew. We did not lose. That was close. That was an iffy close call at the end, but I was actually able to showcase the land torch. And honestly, I didn't get to use Final Roost today. I used it once, but he didn't fall for the bait. But at least I was able to showcase Send Off, even though it was kind of in the stupidest way possible. But you can see how this Land Torch has a lot of potential. I mean, you outspeed everything, you pivot out, you do damage, you Final Roost, you delete a crucial threat, you send off a gift to someone, and pretty good support, honestly. I think this set is pretty good, and I thank Fluffy Roblox for giving me this idea. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see y'all all later. Bye-bye!